Hi and welcome to Yoga with Elliot Switch. Today we're going to sort of work into a bit of a high energy flow, moving through it and then tying it all together at the end. Um, just think about what's happening with the spine throughout this whole session. We're taking the spine through lots of different movements and we're really working to energize and make positive moves through the central nervous system. So let's start by taking a seat on the mat, nice comfy cross legs. If cross legged is uncomfortable, because it is for a lot of people, just extend the legs and relax down because we want to be on the sit bones. So find your sit bones, guys. Relax open from the hips and just find your place on the mat. Soften through the shoulders, but we're going to extend through the spine. So take a big breath in. And as you take the breath out, don't go ah and slouch. Let's just stay solid in the body as we let the breath leave the body. Take your visualization to the breath as you feel it traveling up the back of the spine. So draw the breath in through the spine. And with softness, allow the breath to leave the body. Draw the breath in through the spine. And feel the breath as it travels up the spine, massaging and energizing the central nervous system and allow the breath to softly leave the body. Stay strong in the spine, stay soft in the body. when you're ready just finish on an out breath taking your attention back to yourself on the mat and let's fully extend legs out long arms out long and just take a big breath in we're going to work on wind pose we're going to draw the right leg into the belly and squeeze that leg into the tummy try and close up the gap between the tummy and the leg as you press down and massage the ascending colon. This is a fantastic posture for anything around the tummy, constipation, wind, IBS, menstrual cramps, anything that bothers you in the tummy, this is a great posture to bring into your daily practice. Now to bring both legs in. As you draw the legs in, we're gonna massage the transverse colon. So just squeeze the legs in as you just breathe nice and evenly. Take a breath in. Then breathe out, release the right leg and squeeze the left leg in so you can massage down the descending colon. Extend both legs fully. Draw the arms above the head and think about separating under the ribs as you ease the ribs up to press down through the tummy, pulling the belly button back to the spine. Take a breath in as you bring the right leg in again. Squeeze down through the right leg. Bringing both legs in, take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, squeeze both legs in. Great for lower back pain as well. So if it is that you sit down all day and you have that compression in the lower spine, this is a really nice posture to open up the lower back. Big breath in, extend the right leg and squeeze down into the left. Extend both legs, extend both arms, and really open up under the ribs as you stretch and squash down in the tummy. Take some softness through the shoulders as you relax the arms and take both legs up to the ceiling. If you find it difficult to get straight legs here, just work with what you've got so you've got ease rather than shaking through the legs. Let's just rotate the ankles, feet are tightly together in one direction. Then take them to the other direction. Let's point the toes to the ceiling, but don't just think about pointing the toes, think about lengthening through the whole front of the leg, the muscles down the front of the leg, draw them along the tibialis anterior, give it a really good lengthen through. And then draw the heels, easing the toes back to the shins, take the heels up towards the ceiling. 
toes and heels. Let's take the hands up to the ceiling. Take the hands together, just rotate the wrists. And now take the palms up to the ceiling. We're going to protract the shoulders off the mat, so take a breath in. And as you breathe out, press through the heels and protract the shoulders and press through the hands, leaving the head on the mat. Soften the feet as you retract the shoulders and spread them across the mat, keeping the hands up to the ceiling. Breathe in, protract the shoulders, breathe out, press the feet and the hands up to the ceiling. Retract the shoulders as you soften the feet. Lower the hands, big breath in, let's cross our ankles and roll ourselves up to sitting. Take yourself over onto your hands and knees to prepare to take yourself up to downward facing dog. So we want the knees stacked under the hips, hands stacked under the shoulders. Keep the feet close together on this one, so draw the breath in and as you breathe out, float the tail up high and draw the feet in. Let's just walk the legs big, lazy legs, drawing the knee forward, lengthening through the back of the feet. Bring the heels together, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, slide the both heels to the right and dip down through the hip. Back to downward facing dog, ease the feet down, breathe in. Breathing out, slide the ankles to the left and dip down through the hip. Taking yourself back to the top, settle the feet and take a big breath in. Breathing out, heels to the right, dip the hip. Keep the legs straight, the hips solid. Press yourself back up, strong in the arms. Ease the heels down, breathe in. And then breathe out, ease yourself down in the left hip. Back to downward facing dog. Raise the right leg up behind you and bring it under the body to land it between the feet. Staying on the toes, on the back foot. Train track the feet, so imagine that your feet are on train track so your, your stance isn't too narrow. And draw yourself up to high run. A big breath in, lengthen through the body. And then we're gonna hinge forward from the hip. Bring the right hand down inside of the foot and twist underneath. Bring the right chest under and the left arm back. And take the gaze to the top hand. Drop the left hand to balance yourself. Take the right hand off the mat. So coming outwards from the foot, deepen, just deepen the twist around the hip. Big breath in and twist out again. Bringing the left hand down, the right hand back to the foot. Ease yourself back to downward facing dog. Close the hands. So both of the thumbs are together. Draw the feet in together. And just settle down into a nice narrow dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Walk the heel of the right hand out and the heel of the left hand out. And settle back down into dog. Open the hands back to regular. Open the feet back to dog. Breath in. Raise the left leg up behind and bring it under the body. Stack the feet. And press yourself back to high runner, taking the hands into prayer. Stay tall in the body, breath in. And breathe out, come down. Left hand down in front of the foot as you open and twist. Raising the chest through, the shoulder back. Take the gaze to the top hand. Just breathe nice and evenly. Right hand comes down for balance. Take the left hand off the mat and draw yourself underneath and deepen into the twist. Bring the right hand down to the mat and the left and draw the feet together. Walk up with the tail of the spine and roll back to the top. Take a big breath in. Raise all the way up, come forward for Uttanasana, all the way down but with softness. We're gonna use the weight of the shoulders to walk the posterior, posterior chain to lengthen through the back of the legs the glutes and the back. So use the shoulders and the weight of the shoulders to ease yourself down towards the mat. If you can't reach the floor, rest the hands on the shins, the feet, wherever is comfortable. Bring the chest forward 
and ease the head down last of all. Come onto the tiptoes. Hug down through the body. Wrap the hands around the legs and now curl the spine. Bring the hands down to the mat, breath in. And then as you breathe out, raise the tail. Draw yourself all the way back up. Work through the spine. Feel every vertebrae as you come up. Take a big breath in. And then breathe out, come all the way back down again. Walk the shoulders. Let the shoulders bring you over. Bring the chest in, the ribs, and then tuck the head under, last of all. Big step back with the left foot. Press yourself back up to lower and high runner. Settle down, breathe in, raise the arms, soften the shoulders, widen the chest and the ribs to take it back into the crescent moon. Stay low in the groins as you reach high with the hands. Pull the hands down behind the back, stay solid in the body and press the hands away. Keeping the softness in the front knee, push off the back foot, big breath in. Feet together, soft knees, wrap the body down as you raise the arms and press them up to the ceiling. Release the hands. Roll yourself up, big breath in. And breathe out, down we go again. Lengthen through the back of the body, ease the shoulders down, tuck yourself underneath. Big step back, use your hands to balance yourself with the right foot, press yourself up to high runner, it is a balance, settle down, breath in, for crescent moon, as you breathe out, soften down through the groins and open through the chest and the ribs. Join the hands behind the back, press down to open the shoulders. Breathe in, pressing off the back foot, Knees are soft, wrap the body down as you raise the hands all the way up to the ceiling. Big breath in, reach tall. And breathe out, come all the way back down into prayer. We're gonna go through a nice bouncing flow now. Breath in, soft knees, breathe out, breathe in. And out for Hastasana. Right hand on the heart, twist into chair and offer the heart for full chair draw the gaze high breath in softness as you breathe out breathe in all the way up and back third half of Hastasana left hand on the heart twist bring that chest underneath the shoulder back and then bring yourself round to full chair. Breathe in, softness. And out, standing back bend. Right hand on the heart, twist round and underneath. And then take that round to full Utkatasana. Breath in with softness, breathe out, all the way back up, bring the left hand to the heart, twist underneath, keep the right hand high, and then bring yourself back to Utkatasana. And breath in. With softness, come down, stay here, take the hands onto the mat, step or jump back to downward facing dog. Bring ourselves to our knees and ease yourself back to swan. Take a big breath in, ready to come forward to slide into a baby cobra. So the chin and chest are low and the bottom is high as you press through the hands to take yourself down onto your tummy and just extend on the hands, raise the ribs and the chest and raise your gaze. 
and draw the body back down. Place the hands on the mat, press yourself back with the tail high and draw yourself all the way back to swan. Lengthen through the back of the body. Imagine to get to the front of the mat that you're going to have to slide under a toilet door. That's the best analogy I can give you. So draw the chin and chest forward. Start to feel the weight transfer to the hands. And then as you press through, slide down onto your tummy. We're going to five put the fingers and ease ourselves up into cobra. Draw the body down. Hands on the mat. Press through the hands to push back onto the elbows and take yourself all the way back to swan. Lengthen through the back of the body. Draw underneath the ribs. Breath in. And breathe out. Draw yourself back up, down onto the mat. Slide through with the chin and chest. Push forward for striking cobra. And take yourself all the way up into full cobra. Draw the pubis down the hips, the chest, the ribs. Take the hands, press them into the mat. Use your feet to press through the, the tops of the feet to raise the tail and press yourself all the way back into swan. Slide yourself up from swan and let's just take a look. Raise the ribs, raise the chest, take the fingers into the hip bones to bring yourself forward and close down as you extend fully and out into swan, draw the fingers as far away as you can as you settle down for breath. Come bring yourself up into cat. Use all the four corners of the palm and just walk the legs back to plank. From here, turn over onto the feet. Draw the, the groins down towards the mat as you raise the chest and the ribs forward for upward facing dog. No compression in the spine. If there is, lower the dog, soften the arms so you take the bend out of the back bend. Flick the toes over to take yourself into downward facing dog. Dog split right, raise the right leg up behind and bring it under the body and drop the left knee to settle back into a half split. However, we're going to stay on the toes on the back foot. So draw the weight down, keep the hands on the mat to take that weight. If that feels too challenging on the foot, then just ease yourself up and come down onto the top of the foot. Take the gaze to the front foot. So draw the ribs and chest high as you close the body down. Take the left hand and wrap it around the outside of the foot. Pull the body down. Start to turn the gaze over the left leg, the right leg, sorry, and then extend fully into an open twist. Bring the right hand down, wrap it around the foot, crossing the wrist, widen the elbows, and bring the body through. Ribs, chest, and head, last of all. Take the hands down to the mat, bring your body over. Take yourself back to plank. Turn the feet over for upward facing dogs to so draw the groins towards the mat, the ribs and the chest away. Turn the feet over for downward facing dog. Dog split left, raise the left leg up behind, bring it under the body, settle down onto the right knee. And again, we're staying on the top of the toes. If we can, if not, drop the foot, turn the toes over, ribs and chest are high, breath in, take the gaze down to the left foot, wrap the right hand around, and then twist 
that right chest underneath. Drop the left hand, wrap it around the foot, the, uh, the wrist, the cross, open the elbows to bring the body down. Release the hands, bring them to the mat, press through the hands, press through the feet, and take yourself back up to downward facing dog. Let's walk on the mat, draw the heels down, tiny steps to lengthen the back of the legs as you bring yourself towards the front of the mat. Roll up through the spine and take yourself to standing. Stay tall in the body throughout this next section, so nice and tall. Shoulders are backing down, take your hands into prayer, take a big breath in. And breathe out, either weight over to the left and fix your focus. Find your drishiti. The drishiti is a focal point that doesn't move. So just fix your gaze and bring the right leg up in front. As high as you can so you can stay tall in the body as you reach down and place the foot into tree. Sink the foot into the left leg and take the hands into Padma Mudra. Raise the hands above the head and focus and breathe. Be aware of the three sensations of connection. We're connecting through the hands and reaching away. We're connecting through the feet and touching down into the ground and touching down into the leg and then we're drawing out sideways. So be aware of the three directions that the body's being pulled into. Fix your focus, release the hand, and bring them out to shoulder height to prepare for plane. Just slowly release the leg, take a big breath in. The chin and the chest are forward, the back is long, and just ease yourself over into plane. Release the back leg with a big step. The front leg is bent, reverse warrior, slide down, the back leg and raise high through the front hand. Allow that side to lengthen as you get taste to the fingers. Take the left hand down the right knee, or the left knee, sorry, slide down. Take the hand around the ankle, draw the chest underneath. Extend all the way over through the top side of the arm, palm facing down, press down with the back foot and allow the gaze to follow the hand for extended side. Bring the hand down to the mat, draw the feet together, roll the spine up. Let's take ourselves hands back to prayer. Fix your gaze, find your drishiti, so you ease your weight over to the right hand side, focus and relax with the breath. Start to bring the left leg high in front. Reach down with the left hand and place the foot into tree. Take the hands into Padma Mudra, little finger, little finger, thumb, thumb, and cup the, the, the uh, wrists and take yourself up. To lotus with the hands, connecting the, through the ground and widening through the knee. Take a breath in as you release the arms for plane. And then as you breathe out, release the leg and take yourself all the way over, long in the back. Fix your gaze. Release the back foot down to the ground. The front leg stays bent into reverse warrior. Bring the right hand over to in front of the right knee, slide down. As you twist the chest underneath, make solid with the back foot. Take the left arm all the way over to extended side. Allow the gaze to follow the hand.
Take the left hand down to the mat. Drop to the back knee. Let's work into this side extension. Take the right hand. Place it on all the finger ends outside the right foot. Spread the toes. Turn the left foot as you press yourself to come underneath again. So draw that left chest underneath, the right, uh, right chest, right shoulder. And we're going to plug the shoulder. So take the shoulder out, the arm out to shoulder height and plug it in. And then twist it around and take it all the way over to really extend that side angle. So tucking the right chest underneath, take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, start to straighten that right leg so you're in a really intense triangle, lengthening through the top side of the body. Take a breath in and breathe out. Take the left arm all the way up, head back in line with the spine, the triangle. Soften through the front knee to press yourself up to warrior two. Both hands down to the mat, breath in and breathe out to dog. Dog split left, breathe in and breathe out. Bring yourself back to low runner. This time take the left hand outside the left foot. Twist underneath the body. So prepare for the twist by drawing the left chest underneath. And then turn onto the right foot. Bring the right shoulder back. Extend the arm at shoulder height. Plug the shoulder. Come round over the hip. And extend fully through the top side of the body. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, straighten the front leg. If you can't, stay on the floor as you straighten the leg. Release the hand to the foot. But don't lean on the shin. Come around the outside and just rest around the ankle. Draw the body underneath. Extend through that top line. Breath in. And breathing out, take the right hand up to the ceiling for triangle. Draw the head back in line with the spine. Take a big breath in. And on the out breath, soften the front knee to come up for warrior two. Take the hands down to the mat and step yourself back to plank. Bring the right hand underneath the face and turn on to the right side. Stack the feet as you draw the right chest underneath, extend into a side plank and bring on tree. Keep hold of the tree as you rotate underneath. Left hand comes across and open through the side. Take the hands down to the mat. Rotate back to both hands, both feet. Draw one elbow down to the mat, then the other for dolphin plank. Strong in the back of the body. Start to walk the feet in. Easing the heels towards the mat. So down dog tail, dolphin head, and just relax into dolphin. Let's step back to dolphin and press ourselves back up to plank. Draw the left hand under the face and ease yourself over to the left hand side. Draw the chest underneath so you're tall and strong in the plank and take the right foot into tree. Right hand comes down to rotate through the plank, keeping the leg in tree at the bottom. Right hand comes under to fully rotate through the tree. Left hand comes down. Both feet. To dolphin. Soften the knees and jump back out to dolphin plank. Hands on the mat. Downward facing dog. And let's walk up the mat. 
Roll the spine up. And let's link all of that together in a series of moves. Big breath in, reach high. And breathe out softly down. Breathe in. Hastasana. Take the right hand on the heart as you twist underneath the body. Breath in and out to Utkatasana. Draw the hands down to the mat, step back to dog. Or jump. Hands fully on the mat, knees on the mat, extend to swan. Big breath in. Coming underneath the striking cobra. Draw the scapula together. Squeeze yourself up into cobra. Turn the toes under. Float yourself to plank. Raise the left leg up behind. Bring it underneath. Drop to the right knee. And come over onto the foot. If you can, reach down around the foot and twist underneath the body. Drop the left hand, place it around the right foot, the left foot, and ease yourself down. Take the hands down onto the mat. Big step back to downward facing dog. Let's walk up the mat. Roll the spine up. Take the hands into prayer. Big breath in, raise the right knee. Place it into tree. Finger, finger, thumb, thumb, wrist, a Padma Mudra. Extend the arms, breathe in and breathe out to plain. Drop the back foot for reverse warrior. Take the hand down the mat, slide down towards the mat for extended side, tuck that left chest underneath. Take the hand outside the foot, straighten the leg for extended triangle, full triangle. Warrior two, breath in. Hands come down the mat, step back to plank. Walk the right hand underneath, just one tree plank, that's all we need, taking yourself over to tree plank. Draw the hands to the mat, turn the body. Ease the tail high for dog, soften the knees, jump up the mat. And let's go again for the other side, big breath in. Softly bounce as you breathe out. Breathing in to Hastasana. Left hand on the heart, breath in and out to twist. Breathe in, breathe out to chair. Big breath in as you draw the hands down to the mat and jump back for dog. Soften the knees to come down to swan. Get ready for striking cobra, big breath in. Scoop down across the floor and press through for striking cobra. Turn the toes over for plank. Push yourself up to dog. Dog split right, bring yourself under the body. Drop to the left knee, stay on the toes. Ease yourself back into a half split, stay tall in the body. Left hand comes down, twist around the right foot as you open up to the other side. Drop the right hand, cup it around the foot as you ease yourself down. Both hands on the mat, take yourself back to downward facing dog. Soften the knees, jump up the mat, roll yourself up to standing. Fix your gaze, find your drishite, hands in prayer. Take the weight over to the right hand side, focus with the breath. Raise the left leg in front. Reach down with the left hand to face, place that into tree, and join the hands in Padma Mudra. And reach high with the hands. Take 
taking the arms out to shoulder height, breath in, then breathe out, extend fully into plane. Big step back with the left foot, sliding down the left leg for reverse warrior. Take the right hand to the knee, slide it down, twist underneath the body to extend fully into side angle. And take the right hand, pop it on the floor, on the finger ends, draw the shoulder wide, lengthen through the top of the body as you press through the front leg for the extended triangle. Breath in. And breathe out to triangle. Breath in. And breathe out to warrior two. Inhale. Both hands come down to plank. Take the left hand across, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, stack yourself over to the left side into tree and extend fully in tree. Take both hands down to the mat. Bring the elbows down for dolphin plank. Walk the feet in for dolphin. Ease the feet out. Place the hands back onto the mat. Drop to the knees. Come high in the body, big breath in. Lengthen from the hips, closing the belly down, the chest, the ribs, and the head as you lengthen forward into resting swan. Ease yourself onto the mat. And please feel free to lie down. I'm going to explain to you this week's Hasta Mudra. Let me show you how it looks. Atari Bodhi Mudra, Supreme Awakening. We're going to interlace three fingers and then make a point with the index fingers and the thumb. So we're creating almost a little diamond in the hands. If you want to stay seated, just rest the hands and stay seated. If you want to lie down, now is the time. Extend the body fully. Let's go into a nice relaxation and use Atari Bodhi Mudra to work with all the movement that we've created through the spine. It brings lots of energy to the central nervous system. So interlacing the fingers, connecting the first two fingers and the thumb, just soften the hands just in front of the heart. Close your eyes and relax through the back of the body. Let's take our attention back to the spine. Draw the breath through the body and visualize the breath as it travels through the spine. Atari Bodhi Mudra benefits the central nervous system. So bring the breath through the body and visualize as it travels up the spine. And feel the softness of the body as you allow it to sink into the mat. The Taribodhi Mudra strengthens and benefits the heart and the lungs. So as you breathe in, draw the breath in through the hands. Visualize the breath as it weaves its way around the heart, through the chambers, as it fills the lungs and as it empties from the lungs. And just visualize the breath, nourishing and benefiting the heart and the lungs. Without being kind to yourself, Tari Bodhi Mudra tones the large intestines. So as you draw the breath in, pull the breath deep into the belly. And visualize the breath. It weaves its way through the insides of the tummy, the bowel, the kidney, the bladder. Being kind to yourself. Thoughts may wander into the mind, but just recognize that they're there and allow them to just wander away as you take this time on the mat to be kind to yourself. We've shown physical kindness, we've strengthened and lengthened and twisted the body. 
And now is the time to be kind to yourself, to the mind, to the heart and the lungs. The Tari Bodhi Mudra acts as a conductor for our creative energy, our creative awareness. So as you lie here and allow the thoughts to filter through, they may be trying to tell you something, maybe pointing you towards a change, just acknowledge their existence. Be soft and strong in the body and take this time to be kind to yourself. There are no tensions in the body. The mind is quiet and still. Slowly release the hands. Keep the eyes closed, guys, as you start to rub the palms of the hands together to generate some warmth inside the hands. And then place the hands over the closed eyes and with a breath in, draw your feet onto the mat. And then as an even easy breath out, ease yourself over to the right hand side. Stay cocooned inside the hands. Feel the weight of the body as it softens and sinks into the mat. With an even breath in, open the eyes inside the fingers. Then as you breathe out, open the lips. Lick the lips. Roll the tongue around inside the mouth. Open the eyes. Allow your awareness to bring yourself back into the room, back onto the mat. Take your time. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with Elliot Switch. <laughs>